we have the CEO and co-founder of Chibas, which is based in San Francisco. So tell me what Chibas does. Chibas builds uh, software mostly for driving vehicles remotely. So we uh, started as a um, company who would help self-driving cars to get unstuck on the road. But we also recognize there, there are certain use cases that we want to tap into. Uh, so we're looking at two different areas, one in mobility and one in the industrial sector. One thing I've noticed with, you, you say remote driving, but um, I think some other people might recognize the name teleoperation, um, which is kind of a new industry that's been born out of autonomous vehicle or the, the hope of deployment of commercial commercially deployed autonomous vehicles. However, um, I think many companies, your competitors have now shifted to uh, other applications outside of autonomous vehicles. So is that what you meant by the industrial application? Correct. So uh, yes, you're, you're right. Uh, there was a problem and there are, there are more and more companies coming out uh, saying that the self-driving uh, technology is not there. So there is, a, there is a demand for that for sure, and it's gonna stay there for, for a long time. Even though when self-driving technology is ready, we will have to still monitor and help humans that are gonna be passengers, or there might be situations on the road where we, ha we have to help autonomous vehicles on the road. So we are taking also a teleoperation first approach to autonomous mobility. So we're saying, Instead of uh, helping self-driving cars that are not working and not, cannot be autonomous yet, how about we start with remote driving? Even though if, it might be 100% remote driving initially, but then uh, certain tasks, uh, certain uh, situations and operational domains, they're easy, uh, relatively easy to handle. So self-driving can step in in those situations. So whether it's automation uh, is good when it's mundane, tasks or it's something repetitive and there are, there are situations where humans need to be in the loop and help uh, autonomous, uh, autonomous companies or autonomous vehicles to handle complex situations on the road. Well, thanks so much for joining us on stage. Thank you very much. <laughs>